Good morning, everybody. It is such a great day. I am finally back to work. Uh, sun drop off went well, but the daughter is still home. So as you guys can see, I am now chilling in the kitchen, eating some breakfast because she's in our room and that's where my desk and office setup is. So I'm gonna make this my office for this morning and we've got a meeting coming up here in a few minutes. I gotta scarf down this breakfast and at the same time, I'm gonna start prepping myself for all of these phone calls that I'm gonna start making to all of these accounts to start trying to make an impact in my territory. It's been a couple of hours since I started making phone calls and in this realistic setting of dialing out, trying to get past the receptionist and, and getting to people that can actually help me move forward within these accounts. I wanna say I've actually spoken with four, not necessarily decision makers, but they've either been RNs or NPs. And that's really fruitful in my opinion. I've dialed, I think 16 accounts, so I'm one in four right now. And again, I'm just showing you guys the real, the raw, this is realistic, what's going to be happening when you don't have appointments and you're not driving out to those accounts. So because I'm brand new, I'm wanting to at least try and learn a couple of names like of the receptionist and things like that before I actually go step foot on their premises because at least I can walk in and say, hey, Sarah, how are you doing? You know, it was, uh, my name is Pierre. It, we spoke last week or this or that. And uh, my script for the phone calls have been very, you know, very light. I'm just being extremely lighthearted and just saying things like, hey, happy new year. My name is Pierre. I am a new breast oncology specialist with XYZ company. Would love the opportunity to come in and schedule a breakfast, lunch, or a snack with you guys. Could you let me know who I would need to talk to uh, regarding this? And a lot of times it's either a nurse or the office manager. And that's how I've been able to speak with some of the nurses and uh, one of the offices, it was an NP that handles it. So kudos for that, because now I got to talk to an NP and it, it's really just that basic. Um, day in, day out. So right now the day in is just doing outward bound calls because I'm not leaving the house today. And possibly that'll be most of what I do tomorrow as well because I don't have any set appointments for tomorrow either. And then uh, moving forward for the following week, what I will be doing is now going to these accounts that I've called and being able to use, like I said, the call that I just did to reintroduce myself, see if anybody else is available and start trying to create some backdoor channels. All right, let me start off by apologizing for the treadmill background noise, but your boy's gotta get his workout in and I couldn't get it in this morning. So here we are now, but let me give you guys a quick and brief recap of how today went. Day one, be back in the field, even though I worked from home. And as you guys saw, I was able to get into four accounts, voice only, and at least I'm starting to kind of break the ice with these accounts, get my name out there. But then toward the end of the day, I was able to get into a fifth, spoke with another nurse practitioner and found out that unfortunately, this account is on RX Vantage, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a scheduling platform where you can do virtual appointments that way, but for the most part, offices pay. Maybe they don't pay, but we pay as reps to be a part of that service so that we can schedule with their accounts. And unfortunately for me, I still don't have access to my territory. So I still gotta work on that so I can make sure that I can start capturing these appointments. But she did mention that, uh, cause I, you know, pleaded, I was like, hey, I don't have access yet. Is there any way that you can open up a day? Because I already missed out December, not December, January 1st, at the first of every single month, they open up appointments and it's first come first serve. And so I missed out already. And so she's gonna check with the doctor and see when I will be able to get back in. But regardless, I'm still growing, you know, I'm developing, I'm learning, and I'm feeling good, you know? Day one, fantastic. I'm excited to get back into the grind. I really gotta get some study in back in because ever since I finished my verbal assessments, 
it feels like it's been forever already. And those things are starting to kind of get some cobwebs on them. So I gotta break those cobwebs up. But, so I just wanted to let you guys know, I got some more stuff coming. I'm feeling good. And I got another trip next week. So be on the lookout for that longer form video. And the next one should be dropping any day now.